Hello, and welcome to part 13 of All the Mods 5. Uh, so, today's schedule is going to include me showing off everything in between streams. And, um, then we're going to be, uh, working on the, like, the, I, of the base that I was telling you guys about last stream. And then lastly, we're going to set up some railroads at that base, too. And I'm expecting... I'm expecting the whole bait setting up the base and stuff is going to take like the entire stream. So that's the plan for the stream. So start with for in between. Um, I did set this up. So now it's all producing an LPG and they're, they're, it's just kind of all flowing into here now. And it, I can make as much plastic as I want really fast. <laughs> Does that mean it's like it's only a hundred millibuckets and a charcoal makes a bucket of plastic? I probably should have had this all flow into a tank instead of right into there, but whatever. And then I had to add this cobstone here to insulate it, so that way it would run indefinitely. And I gathered up a bunch of oil from nearby to, um, to get processed. Uh, let's see. I think this was in between streams, too. I added a, um, guardian spawner, because I needed a lot of, um, prismarine, which you'll see why, um, soon. Uh, I didn't, I didn't finish this thing up. This was just kind of like a... I mean, <laughs> yeah, that was the one thing I didn't get to do, was, uh, finish this thing. And, and all it is is just, for this, for this setup, all you need is just some way to count to eight, and then you can have it crap as much as you want in diamonds. And this thing actually stopped working for some reason, like, replace the power cable, so this thing wasn't washing for a bit. Um, oh shoot, I just remembered something, uh, I'll explain what I just remembered later. When I want to go to the base. Uh, let's see. I think I think I said this in between. I, I think I might have said this last stream, but I removed this windmill here to reduce some lag. So that way it wasn't as laggy at the base. Um, okay, so I think that's everything at the main base. I think that's everything that I did. I think I also mined, like, a ton of resources, too. Like, well, primarily just a lot of experience, or as you can tell by my experience at the bottom. And I think I mined like a lot of, I mined a lot of quartz too, which as you can see here, this is all uh, porcelain, porcelain, and then up here I think is alabaster. Yeah. Because I was look. It, it, oh, let me show, like back at the, um, at the uh, current base, I was, I had all these blocks out because I was trying to figure out what's a good looking block here. And um, after showing my cousin too, he was like, yeah, the... The bottom row and the top row looked the best, and I was like, ooh, yeah. And so then I picked some colors that I think think would look good. And then, um, yeah, I'm not sure which of these two lights I'm going to use yet. So that's how that happened. It's, I'm planning on making this, like, like have waves down here at the bottom, and then maybe, like, there's some fish up here. I, I know, it's kind of backwards. Like, you think the waves would be at the top. It's like, you know, it's an ocean, but whatever. <laughs> and then up here, I, I meant to actually make this all, um, Batania... I think it's called Mana Glass, because I think it, because that way we probably wouldn't have had all these lines, but um, now it's already set up, and yeah, so there's a reason why this is a, in the shape of a hopper. It's because what I'm thinking about doing is running a bunch of minecarts. I'm going to have like auto farms all around the base here, which I should mention, this took me like, it only took me one or two hours to clean off all the buildings like over there, but it took me like, Five or so hours of just AFKing while I automatically collected stone. Like, this is an automatic stone maker. Every time I take a stack of stone out, it makes more stone. Oh, hold on, it's lagging. See? Like that. So, yeah. <laughs> and then I had to put in, like, all new bricks. It was a lot of work. Ooh, there's a wandering trader here. He's selling enchanted golden apples. Okay. I'm gonna just keep him around, because there's a lot of rat... Or a lot of um, plague doctors spawning in here while I was working. And I had to keep killing all the rats over and over and over. So yeah, as you can see in here, it's really big. And uh, and, and, it, and I was hoping it looked more like a tower, but it kind of just looks like a... Sorry, there's a gnat. Uh, a really big uh, box. But I mean, it's still really, really massive. And it's got like a nice marine bricks floor, which require prismarine. So that, that's why I had that guardian spawner. So yeah, it's just a lot. It's just really, really big. So what I'm thinking about doing for 
this uh, base is that I'm probably just going to make new machines for it and then just reorganize it. And um, the only thing I might move is like maybe the uh, power, is, is like the, um, I might move the biofuel or I might just make a whole bunch of windmills and just call it a day. I don't know yet. Well, I mean, I guess I could figure that out. Like, if I'm going to use universal cables, which are the cheapest, that means 128, excuse me, divided by 192. That means I would need 667 um, windmills, which isn't, which sounds like a lot, but I mean, it probably will be less laggy than 800 um, biofuel generators all needing uh, wires hooked up to it. But we'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll cross that bridge when um, I need certain power everywhere, okay. So, first things first I gotta do is make the uh, door. So the door's gonna have to be an easy, e or an even amount, because this is an even um, base. See, it spans across three chunks here. Exactly three chunks, so if I want to chunk load this place, it, I could easily do it. Yeah. Okay, so that means I want to go... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I think this is the middle right here, yeah. And it kind of helps with the yellow lines that way, kind of know, like, oh yeah, yeah, that's the middle. Okay, so it's not going to be that small. I want the door to be bigger. I mean, this is a big building. <laughs> it's like a really small door. Uh, this guy had, uh, just going to make a basic arc for now. Uh, let's just, oopsie daisy. Oh, that's wrong. Sorry, they're like really close looking. Like blue and cyan. Okay. That's probably good for now. I'll probably make it fancier. Maybe I'll add some decorations to it. I don't know. There's probably some like staircases I can make with this, right? No. Okay, no, no decorations, but I can turn them into rainbow colors. <clears throat> I can probably make some staircases out of something else. Okay, I don't need those up anymore. So yeah, I'm thinking for this base I'm gonna want. I'm debating if I want like my uh, my applied energistic system to be in the middle here, and it just be like a box where you just kind of get everything out of. It. I mean, the thing is that there's there's no middle, like one block middle. So <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I could have like. Wait, isn't there like four different grids or something? How many grids are there? There are exactly four different grids. Oh, one of them's a fluid grid. Well, and that's the time one of them's a regular grid and then one's a crafting grid. Yeah. Okay, because I was thinking like I could have it be, um, like all the different grids would be in the middle. <laughs> it kind of, it'd be kind of dumb to have a regular grid when there's a crafting grid right next to it. Hmm. I guess I could have it be like, oh yeah, I could have like the three grids, and then um, just the uh, hard drive in the front. Yeah, that would work. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to want all the grids here. So this is the middle, right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just going to use my cobble here to mark it. There, so that should be the middle. Yeah, that's the middle. Okay. And then I'm thinking about... For above ground, I'm going to just have like a line of machines here for manual work. Yeah, so I just have machines here, and the underground will be um, more, will be like the, I'll have machines with this system uses to generate more, or to auto-craft uh, resources. So it's not like just limited to crafting, and it means crafting. <laughs> it's crafting and processing. And, uh, oh yeah, that actually reminds me, I forgot to mention this. This is also, this isn't just one layer of stone, this is stone all the way down to the ground. Like, I manually filled it up to the top, that's why it took me five hours to fill this thing. It is not just one layer of, uh, stone. So yeah. Okay, so there's the middle, um, let's just get, let's just get crafting machines and, um, the applied energistics grids. Alright. And then last but not least, a disk drive. Okay, so the only issue I'm realizing is that I've mined, like, probably close to, like, 10 or 15k quartz. 
And I had to use a lot of it just to make the uh, block. So I hope I'm going to have enough quartz and silicon. Because the thing is, is that I need at least 1.6 million storage. Which means I need, a, I need at least this thing. I mean, I guess what I could do is I could just shove everything onto that drive. Or heck, I, well, I could just move all the drives over. Hmm. But then I, I need to at least get some power going at the base then. I mean like those um those things over there are power are literally maxing out the cables. There's no more power can be added. I could just take all the windmills up 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 at the top and just use them. Mm. I had to figure out exactly how I'd deal with um windmills though. The thing is with windmills is that, um, I'd have to... I guess I could have them just pumping power in the corner here. Maybe, like, over here near the machines. I guess I could do that. I just have that, like... Yeah, that way I'd at least have some power coming in. That would be enough to at least run my, uh, system. The only thing is that that would mess up all my machines. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Um... Yeah, cause I've, cause I'm gonna need to remake a lot of the auto, like at least remake like a tree farm. Um, yeah, I'm gonna want, I'm probably gonna want like the tree farm to be out of the way. It's gonna have to be smaller. It's a thing. Maybe I just have a tree farm of every type of wood. The only issue with that is that that means it's gonna get really annoying with crafting. Cause then it's like, oh, I got, oh, I ran out of this type of wood. Now I need this type of wood. Now I need this type of wood. Now I need this type of wood. Uh. Right, there we go. So let's. So these are like not really going to be using this that much. So might as well have them like that. Okay. So that's going to be the main part of the system, I guess. I. I guess I could raise them up on some bricks. Here now. So this is the reason why I got like three hundred some levels. It's because this thing uses up two levels every time. So I just got a crazy amount of experience that way. I wouldn't have to deal with it. Okay, let's just pull out some of the uh, bricks. Yeah, I had a little. Oh wait, no, those aren't the bricks I want. I want the. Uh, just get stacking those. Yeah, accidentally overcalc. I think I. No, we know. I remember now. I accidentally made that many. I uh, meant to make more uh, porcelain, full porcelain blocks, and I accidentally made those. Okay. So the only issue with this type of system, or like what I'm doing here is that um, I'm not going to be able to hide the uh, the core of the grid. I guess we could just have it underneath and just be like, okay, yeah, that's, that's just how it is. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Oh so, yeah, um, yeah, so we're going to want to, excuse me. Okay, so this thing still doesn't work. I'm just going to have to place it down and then how many universal cables do I have? 384? Okay. So let me... Get the uh, cable starting to run. And then that way I can just move the uh, windmills over so that way we can start powering everything. And we're done! Okay, so that's 265 windmills all transported from my old base. And that should easily power any kind of small machines that I have running right now. Mainly just letting everything be on idle. Okay. Don't need that up anymore. Okay, so the next step is probably going to be figuring out the basement here. I'm, what I'm thinking is that I'm going to have the power cable run underneath and there's going to be like a two block area underneath this. I probably should have dug that out before I set the floor, because then I could have used my drill. As thing is, I can't really like auto mine. I wish I had. I wish I now. I wish I had a tool where I could like dig in like a straight line for a couple for a bunch of blocks instead of it being like flat or like I don't know, like just digging a line or digging a re like have the rectangle facing away from me in like a two by ten or something. Oh well, um. So yeah, I guess for now, 
It's just going to be a lot of... Okay, I need to grit out again. Hmm. It's going to be me figuring out how the crap I'm going to dig out all these blocks. Because, I mean, I could just sit here and dig like this, but... Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can get a better efficiency book. Because maybe I can just instant break the cobblestone. That would probably... That will probably be able to get done in a reasonable amount of time. Really good. I don't know. <laughs> Just in case if I want something with really good projectile protection. Or if I want that really good quick charge. Okay. Oh wait, yeah, that's what the other anvil up here is for. Okay. Oops. No, not my superfood. Okay. Efficiency 7. So that, I would imagine, would mean I'm instant breaking every single piece of stone. And I'm going to sleep through the night. Oh, that actually reminds me. I mean, it's just something quick. Here. The reason why nothing spawns in here, like, if you notice, like, if I was here at night, nothing was spawning here, it's because of all these torches. Now, these things have a wide enough radius that if I keep a lot of them just, like, near the outside, it keeps, keeps anything from spawning in here. The only thing that spawns in is the, um, what are they called? Phantoms? And those things are just annoying as crap. Okay. So that's... Oops. Okay, that's that. Okay. So we're all done there. Now the only thing left is hooking up the uh, power cables. To the main grid. Let's just get two stacks out because I don't know exactly how much it's going to need. Okay. So the idea is this, that'll be the um, controller. So we're gonna have the cable probably just... Debate if I wanted to run along a line and then uh, down here if I wanted to go diagonal. The thing is with, in Minecraft because everything's in blocks, I don't think diagonal actually saves uh, cables. It's not like I really even need to worry about saving cables again, but you know. It feels like something where I might want to have the cable come down here and then just have it in the back and then that way it'll just be like a line of processing or something it's kind of i wanted to be like out of the way okay oh man my night vision's about to wear off okay well let me at least get this right there so that's what i need to connect to so i think yeah i'm just going to do this for now okay There we go. Okay. So now when I hook up a uh, controller to there, that means that entire system will now have power on it. Okay. So let me just see. It's going to make a controller. It shouldn't be that hard. Okay. Yep, there we go. Okay. There's the basic controller. And also... Well, I, I'm not going to... I just want to get back here and just quickly do it. Okay. Well, it looks like something's able to spawn out here. No? Okay, I guess it's underground. I don't know. So like, looks like there's something out there, but there shouldn't be. There's a torch right next to him. Okay, there we go. So there's... Oh, my. There we go. I think I have to manually change all these. Okay, just do it by ID. Okay, so there's... There's the main grid right there. All in this nice large room. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is start setting up machines. So, I'm going to want mechanism machines. I'm going to want some latex machines. Ooh, yeah, I'm going to need, like... Probably this area down here dedicated just to making latex. Because I want this to be as... Like as well hidden as possible. Oh, okay. So I think, I guess I just have the cables run here. And then I'm gonna have, like, machines on both sides right here, like that. But then, and the reason I'm doing it like that, is so that way, ooh, I might as well just have to go to the end of the chunk there. So that way I can have machines that need fluids inserted into them. Oh, wait. Shoot, how am I going to pull that off? Okay. Because I have some machines that need um, 
Because I'm also thinking about the latex processing. The or like the thing that makes the latex upgrades. I use latex to make upgrades. And that thing needs. Well, wait, no, that thing only needs latex. Never mind. Okay, I'm good. I don't need water for that. Okay. So we're gonna head back to the base, and we're gonna make a lot of machines. Hold on. No, that's no. Yeah, no. You know, it just needs latex in the other tank. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's just being really weird. Okay. So there we go. Now we got the latex building up. I'm probably gonna want to give it a tank, and that way it'll um. Yeah, it can have a stockpile, so that way I can craft a lot of things at once. Probably want to put some like efficiency upgrades in there to make it even faster. I mean, yeah, the thing's going to be filling up nicely. Okay, so we got all the basic machines down. We got the basic system down with no storage. Um, we got some basics going for the cable, or for the power grid. Okay, I think... I think that's good for setting up the base for right now. Oh my goodness, it's going to be so much rain coming in here. Ugh, that's the only downside of this. I mean, although I'm thinking about it, might block out a good bit of the rain. We'll see. Okay, because what... I is what I'm considering is having minecarts roll up, come all the way up to the top of this tower and roll in and fly down onto some rails. And like, and the rails ha are just hoppers all underneath of them. And the minecarts just roll along the hoppers, depositing their stuff into them. And the hoppers all send the stuff into the system. I mean, obviously this is impractical. I mean... Yeah, but the point is that it's going to be cool, because you just... It, I mean, like, I tried to make the hopper big enough so that way you could actually see it. Like, but the things you had to get all the way back here to even have a slight glance at it. But, uh, yeah, like, the idea is just, like, you just come to this base and you just see hoppers flooding into the top of here. I mean, um, minecarts is flooding into the top of here, all just depositing their goodies. And then rolling back out after they complete the, uh, hopper track. And the reason I want to do this is because I want to go large, I need, I, I want to go large scale with the uh, minecarts. I don't want to just do like one, like what I was doing there, doing at the old base with like one line. I want this to be compact and large scale. Now the only issue with this method is I got to get, I have to make it so that way only one minecart enters into an area at a time. I don't want multiple minecarts entering in. So what I'm thinking about what so what I'm thinking about doing for that is um I have a couple ideas. Okay. Well I have one I have one big idea right now. My my idea is that I'm gonna have here it's probably gonna be easier if I show this off. Let me grab some uh minecart supplies and like deposit some stuff I don't need on me right now. This can probably all go away. Okay. Whoopsie daisy! Hmm, I'm missing a block. It's only one block thick right there. Okay, so let's just get out some. Yeah, they're just called rails. Okay. Sometimes they're called tracks, but I think that's only in like certain cases. Okay, so that's probably all I'm gonna need. I'm just gonna want some redstone. Like, this redstone. Just the general supplies. And then I got stone in here for uh, building. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking. Oh crap, I also need some, uh, let me get some minecarts. Shouldn't matter, should just, regular minecarts should do the uh, trick. That's what I'm doing here. There's a lot of different minecarts here. Okay, do these things stack? No, there's no mod to make them stack. Okay. Okay, well I'm just gonna do four for now, just so that we have enough for testing. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking. I have a detector rail here. Um, yeah, hold on. So we're gonna have a minecart rolling here, and then it's gonna have, like, a junction. Like this. Okay, but I want it to default to going this way. Okay, apparently... Apparently... Okay, let me just... Let me just... Hold on. We have this line here a little bit. And this line here. No. Oh my goodness. Okay. So there's like a branch off. And the thing is with this is that I believe just 
What? Why, why, why that way? Hold on. Why did it... Why did it prioritize that? Okay, well, hold on. I think I want the... So did they when I put... What? I want it like that. But when I put the repeater... Okay. So I don't really have that much... It's gonna be hard, like, getting it to turn the way I want it to, but as you can see, like, redstone makes a turn. Okay, so I think one thing I can do is... Hold on. Okay, so this is where I want it to turn. So I want it to turn this way, then I also want it to go this way. There we go. <sighs> okay. Well, it's still gonna work, I can just have the minecarts run this way. Let's have it run whatever way this thing actually wants to you to actually work. Okay, so hold on. So if a minecart rolls across that... Okay, it, it'll go forward. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking. Remember that... Oh, I'm gonna need those pistons. Hold on. <laughs> uh, let me just grab some sticky pistons. Yeah, I only need like two for it, I think. No, wait, no, wait, no. I need regular pistons. Regular pistons. I'm taking some sticky just in case if I need it, so I don't have to come back again. Okay. So what I'm thinking is that your minecart rolls along here. And then once it crosses this line, it activates a detector rail. Oh, actually, I probably went a little bit later, so that way it doesn't mess with that. So let's say, like, right here, it hits a detector rail. This detector rail... Will then activate one of these pistons and cause this thing to permanently flip. Like if a redstone torch got applied, well, a directed signal got applied to it. So, so let's say we had two minecarts roll along here. We'd have one. Okay, let me move the bags up here. We'd have one roll along here. Roll down here, turn around, hit this, activate it, activating the levers, which is causing the next minecart, oh wait, sorry, to uh, go straight. It's going to freak out for a little bit, but see, it'll go straight. And then what I'm thinking is, is that that'll keep, that'll keep that signal locked. But then when I activate, let's say this minecart rolls back around, Let's say it it uh, comes up, and when it's about to leave and go back to the main system, it hits another detector rail, which resets the pistons, allowing another minecart to come in. So what I'm thinking is if I just have, like, a lot of minecarts, like, running around in a circle around this, um, around my base, I could have them, uh, I could have them, like, branch off whenever there's a chance, and then... Yeah, and then, like, um, fill up with, um, another timer down here. Well, actually, yeah, with, like, a timer down here. And then have them run on off, or run on off, deposit their goodies up here. Some hoppers that'll, that'll be long enough. And then they'll flow back out into the ring until they get to another, um, to another uh, auto farm. And that way I could have the, I could just have them keep flowing around, and I could use more than one... Minecart per machine, I could probably have them run more often. The only thing is I can't have any bunch-ups. Like, it, for this, if I had a minecart run down here and quickly flip it, if there's a minecart right behind it, there might be there might be two that enter. So I would want them to be separated like that. Or separate so that way they don't bunch up. So, yeah, it would take a lot of precision, but that's, that's the uh, idea here. Okay. So that's actually not that complicated. It's mostly just making sure that it doesn't, that I don't have any bunk shops. If I have any bunk shops, the entire system's gonna break. Which, uh, which can happen. Bunk shops are not something off the table here. Okay. So, yeah, that's the idea. So, I think I want, I probably want to set up an auto farm first. 
And then, no, wait, no, I, I, I think, yeah, I'll set up the, uh, how I'm going to run the, uh, minecart. So what I'm thinking is, we're just going to make the basic track for now. Um, I don't think, I, I'm either going to have small farms here, I'm not going to have any farms. And then I think, at least for the chunk area, I might have, like, three farms along each of these. And that way I could have up to, like, well, three, six... I guess that will be like where I come in. I could have 10 far auto farms. Like just basic auto farms. Like maybe I'll have like, maybe this will be like all trees or something because I'm gonna need a lot of wood still. Or I could just make another tree farm somewhere else and just have it automatically pipe in items. Mm, Cause I mean, I need a lot more space. Or I mean like, I could have the, uh, the loop can be expanded. Like I could eventually clean this place out, which would again take ages. This could just be like all auto, or this could be for, yeah, this could be for big auto farms. And over here will just be all the small ones around my base. Yeah, that, that, that would work. I just want to know, okay, so that corner is in a different chunk. So this is a, let's so get to here is a new chunk. Okay. So, I'm probably going to want, I'm probably going to want to be like, let's just say like Four. Let's just say there's at least a three block gap here, just in case I need like machines and other stuff. So yeah, I probably want to start right here. This is gonna need machines. I don't know how long I need the rails to be. So yeah, we're gonna start here on the power rails. Um, next. Okay. There we go. So now we got the ring of minecarts. Let me turn that off. All around the base here. Okay, so now for the power rails, I think we're going to want them to boost up three blocks before. And um, they're all going to be going in one direction, but I'm not sure which direction that's going to be, so I'm just going to put the power rails on both sides. Well, cause I, well, I also need them to boost up either way. Yeah, so we're going to do that. Because there's not going to, because there's not, I'm not able to get any power rails into the diagonals because power rails don't go diagonal they don't they can't do this like, I could just have it like bend out an additional block and then have it just run across the line there but eh, ideally this one to look neat just do this and it probably won't work before I figure out where I'm gonna put the interior power rails I'm gonna have to figure out where exactly all the uh, farms are gonna be going because they're all gonna be um what can we call it? Farms. The uh, in industrial foregoing farms. So I made one that fits in a chunk. So let me try looking at that. Uh, yeah, okay. So for one that fits in the middle of a chunk, it sits. So I'm sitting on the right side. One. Oh, hold on, it's chunk. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. So I put it eight in from the right. Yeah, I'll just do that for all of them. We just have like a bunch of L's. Yeah. Okay, so that's just... Well, that's going to be for... Hold on, because I think that... Yeah, I'm right. That's exactly the right error. Yeah. And I can use that for farms or whatever I want. Okay. So that means an eight from the right is what I'm going to do. And the reason I need that is so that way I know where to put in the lines that are going to go in. So I'm probably just going to have them line up with with the uh, machines. Okay, so for that I'm going to need more... I'm definitely going to want more detector rails. Just... Oh, I'm going to need more than that. Okay. Just might as well have a good handful. So, is there any... Okay, the Osmia makes more. I don't really have any other use for osmium, so I might as well just get some osmium level rails here. I mean, there are, I think there's actually rails that move faster. Yeah, there's like a, one that moves like 5, I think there's one that goes up to like 20 or something. So yeah, 0.25 blocks in a tick. It's like, good gosh. Hmm. Cannot play set up rail first. Drop the rail... Drop the rail and ender pearl at the location and wait for lightning until the lightning strike appears. Huh. So I guess if I wanted to teleport around, I could do that. 
Or just want to use some high speed rails. Eh, yeah, requires diamonds and stuff. Hmm. Should be fine as is for me. Okay, so I'm gonna definitely want. Oh, I don't need much more than that. I mean, I'm not. I mean, I will probably need more for the ramp later, but yeah, we'll see. Okay. So now I probably want to turn these things into. Well, at least one of them? Or let me just turn two of them into minecarts with casts. There, okay. So let's just head back. So. Eight blocks from the right on each chunk is where we're going to be coming in. So I guess I can just start right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that thing doesn't even want to start bending. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I go over here to the right. One, two, three, four. Oh, wait, no, that's the middle. Oh, yeah, I forgot. The middle doesn't have a farm. So I could have it, I could have it like, go in and bend over the, uh, over the, uh, arc. But I feel like that's something I'm going to want to set up, um, after I know exactly how this is going to work. Or what the door is going to look like. Hmm. Okay. But anyways. One, two, three, f oh, yeah, forgot. One, two, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. I'm just going to want to, oh yeah, I probably want to put down the redstone torches here. Because what I meant to do first was see... Probably want these on the interior, just to be safe. The middle, yeah. You look fancy. It's a little bit fancy. Okay. So I want to see, can the minecarts just run along this fine? Because ideally I would just want it to only be these. So let's just get a chest with minecart here with nothing in it. Is there, they do have momentum when they have items in it. Let's see. Okay, looks like it can complete an entire distance here. With just this. And it can run forever. I just gotta... I, looks like I just gotta make sure that, um... They don't intersect. Basically that, I mean, like... If I have ten farms, I need at least ten minecarts. I'm, I'm gonna probably want some spares, though, in case of some farms, like get more and more, I don't know. I feel like there's a chance I might need more than just one, um, one minecart per a, uh, farm, because there might be in instances where, like, if I, the farms, like, pick up one and export its cart, and then it picks up another one before, before another farm can even get it, so, I don't know, I, I, I don't know exactly how it's gonna end up working out. Okay, so from the right, one, two, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why why do some of them refuse to bend in the way I want them to bend? I mean like Okay, hold on. If I activate if I put a signal on this. Okay, it's bending their okay. So all I gotta do for these rails is invert the signal. So that means when there's no minecart it's on. When there is a minecart it's off. Is they're all going to be flowing? Because obviously it looks like the rails are not going to be cooperative here. So I'm just going to need inverted. So I'm going to put a torch next to ones that need to be inverted. It's probably going to be all the ones along this line. Yeah. Okay. Inverted. How about you? You guys going to be cooperative? Nope. So only half of them are actually cooperative. But that won't stop me from making my system here. Okay. So yeah, that means we're going to have it go... Okay, north, south, east, west. I think that's clockwise? Yeah, I think I'm having them go clockwise here. Yeah. Because it's going... Like this. Yeah. So that's the, that's the intent. Okay. So we know that minecarts are able to... Or at least, yes, minecarts are able to roll indefinitely around here. Now we need to set up the uh, detector rails. Okay, so the detector rails I'm gonna want all around here. Oops, you daisy. Yeah. 
And then, so if I have 10 farms, that means I'm going to need at least 20 pistons to set up the uh, machine themselves. Okay, so I need more, I need more pistons. I'm going to grab some more. Okay, piston. Should just be able to make like a stack of them easy. Or, you know, just do whatever you want, I guess. There. Let's just make like 32 for now. That should be plenty. Okay. So for this system, I got I gotta like look not at that one because that one's a lot more complicated, a lot more resource intensive. Let's look at the ones that are basically flat. Okay, so they only need the signal directly into the piston, and that's it. Yeah, okay, but yeah, it's really it's really straightforward. Okay, the inverter ones I'm gonna have to change up, but you know. Okay. So, I probably want the redstone to be underground. Yeah. Okay. No more pistons. Okay, yeah. So, I'm thinking it might be better if I keep them underground because I'm only working with, like, two extra blocks here. Oh, oh wait, no. I think the, uh... Hold on, hold on. Let me check out my farm. The, uh, one that I'm trying to make in a chunk. Is the, uh... Are the machines in a chunk? Yeah, so I only so I need at least one block outside of the kiln for the machines, at minimum. Well, that's mostly just for service. I don't actually need it. Yeah. Yeah, I could actually put the service hall somewhere else. Okay, so I don't actually everything fits in the chunk with that machine. Okay. Because I guess that means then there's enough room I could just have all the uh, redstone above ground. But wouldn't it be cooler if like it was all underground? I feel like that would be cooler. Okay, so let me just dig right here. Okay, so this is the part with the minecart track. So I think all I want to do is I want to transfer a signal. Is there any kind of redstone, like, redstone pole? Hold on, what's a red? I don't know if that's, it. If that does that transport a signal vertically? Or is that just something for whatever this bat mod is? Uh, it might just be decoration, I'm not sure. Okay, let's see, can it, does it have a signal? No. Can it receive a signal? And transport it? That's mostly what I'm worried about here. No, okay. Wait, did it light up? No, okay, so it's just, it's, sorry, it's, it's just decorative. Okay. Well, I was looking, because I want something that can just, like, snake down. But I don't think there's anything in here. There's no, like, redstone cables. Sadly. Or no way to put redstone onto walls. At least none that I know of. Okay, because I was thinking it's a lot easier, but, um... So all I need to have happen is, this detector, all it has to do is activate this piston here. So if a minecart lands on the piston, it will activate. Okay, good. That's all I needed to do. Okay. So let's just clear out some space here. Is this still within? Okay, I can go one, one more out. Okay, good. Okay, so I'm just going to need this. Need a block of cobble. And then it's just the basic torch. There. Okay, so when this thing is... Oops, sorry, I gotta move this thing over one block. When this thing is... Deactivated, it's... There's no signal. Held steady. Okay. And... Yeah, okay. So minecart. Just say, hello, I am minecart. I am rolling. Pretty slowly, but I'm rolling. Piston gets activated. Pushes the block out here. Now, a signal can be transmitted through the block. Okay. So I want that signal... Okay, let me just come... Let's see, I think... Signal comes from right where? Okay, the signal's coming from right there. So, hold on, does this... I forget, do I... I think I need a repeater? Attached to the other side? Let me look. Is it a repeater? 
Okay, now I don't need a repeater for this. Okay. So what I need is this to probably deactivate a redstone torch that's keeping a redstone torch. No, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking. Okay. So I want this to deactivate a torch. Oh, no, sorry. Okay. Uh, what the? Is that? Oh, okay. That's because that's connected to that block. Okay, that doesn't really work. Let's give this machine compact. Okay. Because what I was thinking is like I could have like a deactivated torch with a repeater, but it doesn't look like that's an option here. Okay, but I could have the redstone just crawl right here. What? Oh, because it turned into a straight cable. So if I remove that, that shouldn't happen again. Okay. So let's just put the minecart back down to remove it. Okay, there we go. Okay. So now we have that deactivated torch. Which... Uh, okay, hold on. <laughs> this, this is gonna work, I just need to... Process it through my brain a little. Okay, I'm gonna need some cobble here. Which was having, which was, okay, hold on. So is this block, oh, oops. Okay, so that's not actually activating the redstone. Put that there. Okay, but it should activate redstone right here. So let's say this thing by default is keeping I want a torch that's sitting right here, deactivated. So I'm right, that's right where the track is? I think? Yeah, I think that's swamp the direction. Yeah, they're like this. Yeah, okay, that's swamp the direction. Okay, so I want this redstone signal to come in behind here. Okay, with a repeater. And... So like that. So that keeps it disabled, keeping it... This is, this is basically, I am ready to receive... Oops. Wrong, wrong area. Um, let me get the minecart track back down. Okay, so this is in, I am ready to receive a minecart. So then let's say a minecart comes rolling from back here. No, no, not backwards. This way. So Minecraft comes rolling in going like, I want to, I'm, oh, crap, I forgot about that. Okay. So let's say, okay, let me just activate this so that way it's not an issue. Because this, because I want it to be, I want this Minecraft to be rolling at full blown speed here. Go forward. There, to get a more accurate test here. So this is it running at the speed it would be expecting. And let's say that one was full. It didn't swap. The... Why didn't it swap it? Okay, deactivated the redstone. But that didn't deactivate the turning. So... Why doesn't that work? Okay, but if I replace the torch... Let me see right there. Okay, now it's not accepting a minecart. It's not accept... Wait, it's not accepting the minecart, but it's active? Wait, there's no blo... Oh, there's no block down here. Whoops. Okay, that, that, that that's what happened there. Okay, I'm not, I'm not going crazy just yet. Okay. So now it's accepting a minecart. Now I gotta restart this. Okay, let's say your innocent old chest minecart here is rolling down. It's rolling along here. It's about ready to it's ready to pick up some more goodies. It rolls along here, that one's already full. Then it comes down to here, activates the detector rail, swaps away, and keeps any more from coming in. So if I send another one down. 
Come on. Oh man, this one's full. Oh man, this one's full. And then it keeps going. There we go. Okay, well obviously this one. There. Okay. But yeah, okay, that works. That is working. Exactly how I want it to work. Okay, and that is like really stinking simple redstone. Because now all I need is um the dispen or I just need something to activate this piston back here. Okay. Like just something as simple as um Yeah, I could just have it Oopsie Daisy. Have the piston have like a detector rail on top of it. So let's see, it's um It's exactly three blocks away from right here. So this is where the uh, piston is. Yeah. So this is where the piston is. So I could have it like activate that. Probably want it coming in at a different angle though. Like, no, oh, it can't bend. Okay, but I can have it like that. Okay. So, okay, so here's the next thing I gotta figure out. So I'm gonna have this thing sit here. I want it to fill up with um, supplies. And then when it finishes filling up, I want it to um, go out. So the issue with this thing is that I need it to... Ugh. I need to be able to get it to sit there on a, like underneath the hopper, but then I need it to um, take a different path out. So I think the easiest way of doing that is to have this thing on a ramp. Okay. Yes, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Okay. So the next step here is... A, just a simple old ramp. So we're going to have the minecart fall down here. Um, I'm going to assume there's probably going to be some machines here that could... Oh yeah, this is right at the... This is eight blocks from the right, right? One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's... Okay, that's eight to the right. Okay. So there probably will be... The machines will be here with some... Probably like another solid block on top of it, maybe like the like a storage or something. And then it'll fill up and yeah, so we'll have it bounce down. Oh, okay. So if I have it hold on, can I have I need a hopper. I need a I need to test something. Okay, because the only thing I'm realizing now. Ooh. Maybe I want... Maybe I want hopper minecarts doing this? Because, okay, because the thing is, like, I'm going to have a hopper right here. Well, it's going to be pointing down. It has to be like this to actually get the minecart to pick stuff up. Can the minecarts... Can a minecart going full speed... Let me re Let me reset this. The minecart going full speed, um, get through the hopper. I doubt it can, it's probably gonna create it like a solid block, but let's see what happens. Okay. So here it is. Going up. Nope, okay, I can't get through. Yeah, cause I need a way to be able to load it. Wait, 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 wait. Can I have the hopper? load in from the front here. Can I have the hopper do this? Hold on. Okay, hold on. I gotta get this thing all set up properly. Um, I need power rail here. Not like that. Like that. Okay. Then I remove that. I put a block above it. Put a hopper down. Remove the block. Now, if this minecart were to fall... Okay. Can, I just gotta figure out where, what, huh? Oh, it does work! Oh my god! <laughs> it works! It works, it works. Okay. Okay, let me take out my cobble. So let's try, oops. Okay. Let's get rid of this. I wish there was a way I could break it without removing the minecart. Okay. 
So let's reset the signal again. I want to see, I want to do a full run of this. Because if this works, this is like the, oops, see Daisy. Not a big deal, just gotta get the piston back. Oh, there you are. Okay, only issue with efficiency seven. So now, let's say I got my minecart rolling down here. Chugging along, being cool and all that. Skips the first one because it's full. Rolls down to this one. Lands in there. Oh. It's a little low. Okay, um. Yeah, because I want this to be as consistent as possible. Okay, can I, can I, my, let me break the minecart. The minecart and chest. Okay, I want. Can can it can a hopper there load it up? Maybe. Okay. Let's get the sack of cobble in there. Reset the cobble down here. There we go. And then. Okay, so that's all reset. Yeah, there's a lot of testing. Mm. And... There we go. Runs on off. And... Get rid of the chunks. Does that... No, it doesn't reach. Okay, so... Uh, the last option here... Because the thing is, that's where the farm block's going. Um... Oh. Oh, no, I gotta... I got a really dumb idea. Okay, okay. So what about... Oops, see Daisy, that just broke all that. I'm gonna have to remake that now. Okay, um... What if I had... The hopper, oops. Right here. Hook with a power rail right... Here. Okay. With the uh, detector, I think the detector rails can work at an angle. I think they still, yeah, yeah, they were emitting the signal the entire time. Okay, like that. So this doesn't work. Um, might be out of ideas here. Might have to like just try to get the minecart to just work. Oh crap! It changed directions on me. Yeah, come come this way. I want you to do it this way. There you go. Oh, every okay. Well, I guess it's good to figure that out. There, reset it. There. Okay. So this should work this time. Hopefully, it does. If not, I am gonna be so screwed. Okay. So that's like a really simple solution to this problem. Okay, we're able to get the machine up. Is it loading? I didn't... Okay, it can load. Okay. So there we go. We did it. Oh, what? Did it... Okay, I was about to say, did it just dupe cobble? <laughs> okay. So we did it. So the only thing else we need to do... Well, first things first. Pull out my uh, bag of for stone. Okay, so for right now... We're good here. So all the underground stuff is good. Okay. So what we need now is this thing's also going to activate another one of those piston systems with the timer. And we're going to have it time to launch the minecart back off. And then the minecart's going to roll up here and roll into um, the hopper up here. So we're going to probably get that all set up. And then I'll think about... Um, then I'll work on the uh, stuff in here. I, they're just literally... I think they're just going to come up to the edge. Maybe off of like a ramp. Like they might get, they might just be like a little higher up. I'm debating if I want them just rolling along here. Like this. Maybe like two lanes on each side or something. Or just... I don't know. You, know, you could have like two lanes in the middle here. Just have like... All of them kind of funnel in from all the sides. Mm. 
Because okay, so the thing is, I could probably have them all just flow in from one block, but the thing is, again, this is an even base, so it wouldn't be, wouldn't be symmetrical, I guess it wouldn't really matter. I mean, it would be coming from all four sides, I mean, they'd all kind of meet up in the middle, so it'd be like, yeah, it would be like, whatever, and just have them all converge in one spot. Okay. Yeah, because the plan is they're all just, I'm just going to have the full minecarts merge, and then they're all just going to flow in, I want them flowing in from all the different sides. Mm. That, I'm thinking that'll be something really cool. That that has to be like a really, really... That's going to look really cool when it's done. Okay. So yeah, we're going to have that all set up. So let's just see. I just want to make sure... Just a simple... Pulse there will... Yeah, okay. Pulse there is all it needs. I can just have like another... Like, rail... Okay, that doesn't really affect it. Okay. I just have a power rail right here to get it get it moving. Okay. And then that way it'll deactivate it. As you saw it did, yeah. So that already works. And then it'll just f roll up there. Okay. So we're making really good progress here. We're almost done setting up the uh the pro the basic process of this. Okay. And that's just basically putting the redstone down on all the rest of them. But I think I'm just going to get the entire farm and all that set up. Just like a basic... I just have like a basic wheat farm here or something. Just have like basic problems to deal with. And then... Yeah, and then probably my off-camera work will be setting up... Well, setting at least setting up the redstone for everything to work. And I'll just have the minecarts just flowing around. Yeah, the goal will just be to have like the basic framework set up and then at least have one farm working. Yeah. Okay. So, we need to make the... I need a timer. Just, oh, I gotta get everything organized a little bit here. Okay, so I'm gonna need to grab one timer. Should hopefully have some timers in here. I do. I'm gonna just grab one. Okay. So for this, it's just the same deal as the other setups. It's just, it activates a piston. Hold on, is that... Let, let me... I'm pretty certain that will activate it. I think. Uh, let me just... Let me just run a minecart through. I'm just gonna run a basic minecart, so that way I don't have to keep breaking the chest. I mean, it's the same thing. Oh, sorry, actually, they don't actually roll as much. Never mind, they're not the same thing. Thank goodness I didn't test them with these. Okay. So since they're not the same thing, I'm gonna use the minecart with cart or chest. So let's see, is this gonna activate the piston? Yeah, okay, it did. Okay. And then it finishes. Activates that, reactivates for the next cart. Okay. So there we go, now we got, so now we got access for the first piston push. So we're gonna have that. Other piston on the other side. Oopsie daisy. And I need the redstone signal. Um, crap. <laughs> There's not enough room for that. I mean, like... I mean... Yeah, it's just the rail's too close. I mean, what I could do is just literally have it bulge. I just, I literally can just have it do, oh, it doesn't do that for you. I, I, I mean, I'm pretty certain this won't cause anything. That, that probably won't cause any issues, yeah. And that way I can just fit that in, because that's all I need to really fit in. And then that'll disable the timer. I mean, that, okay, does this timer have a setting? So what, pause while redstone is act? okay. So I can't have it pause when redstone is not active. Kind of sucks, but okay. Because that means then for this thing, oopsie daisy, oopsie daisy. Okay, it's just gonna be a. It's just gonna. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's gonna deactivate a torch, which is on a. 
Okay, yeah. It should activate the redstone hole. Let me just put down a block to test. Okay, it does activate the redstone. Yeah, I just tested it down there completely, and I already forgot about that. Okay, so let's say... Okay. So there's that. Probably just have it... Keep this thing deactivated. Okay, so by default, deactivate it. Uh, Jeez Louise. Okay. Well, that's as far as I can go. Let's just get the redstone signal up. Okay. So this thing can... Oopsie daisy. That block is not actually missing, is it? Nope. Okay, so that means this thing is deactivated. So, how much time did I put on them? Um, did I put on the uh, timers over here? That's about how long I'm going to probably want them for the other ones. 1150? Okay. I think I calculated that to be like... It's like 50-ish seconds, or a little less than 50 seconds. Okay, so 1150. Okay, but it won't run while well, that's activated. So I want, ooh, yeah, the redstone's right there, um, shoot, I didn't really think about that. Uh, this is like tight redstone work here. Okay, so the ways I can activate this, I guess, so I want this to, does this act like a repeater? Hold on. Let me, let me put this thing on like four and disable the redstone it does not act like a repeater it can't send a redstone signal it can't really it can't send a redstone signal through a block wow okay but it probably can okay so I'm gonna have to move basically I'm just gonna have to move this thing okay is I'm gonna need because I need a repeater here to not activate they're not mess with that redstone they need a repeater here to not well hold on does that torch activate the redstone no it does not okay so that means i need the timer here oh my okay so it's okay so what that gets activated everything turns off okay we know that's working okay well i probably just want to put it on like something Short. Let's just put it on for like five seconds, and that way it'll give it enough time for the minecart to sit sit down, and then have it, and then you just have it launch right away while I'm testing. Okay. So then I also wanted to activate the piston, which should just. Oh my 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 my. Why did that happen? So that disabled the redstone? How did that disable the redstone? Look at that. What? Okay, I don't know what's going on there. But I can just have it do something dumb like this. Just, 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 maybe I can make something fancier, but at least something like that. Okay, so that means... I think that's actually completely working right now. So, the rail's all set up how I want it. Okay. So let's just have a minecart run down and test it. Okay, minecart. Coming around the bend. Coming at the speed that it's going to be coming around. Minecart comes in. Activates the piston. Deactivates the redstone torque, allowing that thing to make a signal, allowing that thing to move on. And that reactivates that, so another minecart can come in. Okay. Yeah, no, that works. That works. Okay. So, only thing left now is getting the uh, part where the minecarts get emptied out. So, yeah, the thing is with that is I'm going to need, like, a really lot of, a lot of hoppers. It's the thing. Like, a lot of hoppers. I might just have the track 
the offer. <laughs> because the thing is, is that they're gonna be. I want them to probably move as slow as I can, because the slower they go, the more items they can get into each hopper. Uh, yeah. It really just made me think of a way of how you could like, you could set up like your own railway service for like transporting items, but you have like a fee system. You just have like a bunch of hoppers with filters for the item. This would be like really expensive, just so you know. You just have like a bunch of hoppers, and like it says like you charge a fee of like X amount of diamonds to transport something along your railways. Now and all that happens is that well, as the minecart moves along, it takes out the diamonds and only the diamonds out of the uh, out of the uh, chest. I mean, like you could do that with the filtered hoppers, probably in modded, but in vanilla, you'd need like a lot of main like filters, which require like tons of materials set up because you need to like have like a multiple of, of the item you want in the each hopper for that to work anyways that, that was just a little tangent there um so yeah because i had to figure out exactly how much stuff does one trip get again it's like it's like a stack in 36 i think it's a fair amount okay so both of them are dropping off here okay so let's just wait for that I'm gonna wait for the one that's... Okay, I think... Yeah, the outer one here is the wheat farm. Is there at least... A stack of wheat in here? Does this thing have anything? Okay, it has like a mild amount of, of wheat. Okay. We just pull some... Okay. Because I think the thing is I'm gonna have like... A stack? I'm anticipating that there's going to be, like, a stack and, um... Well, because, I mean, like, if they're all just farms that grow at about the rate of wheat, somewhere around that speed, then, uh, I probably don't only need as much as, like, this thing can make. Well, this, and the thing is, the farms are going to be smaller, too. Uh... Yeah, I think, I'm pretty certain it's, like... I'm just, you know, I'm just going to make it for two stacks, because I believe that's how much this thing's able to do. How much it's able to load up. So, I mean, right here, it's not loading up all the time. It only got 29 in the in the cart. Okay, so I think I'll just make it so that way there's enough hoppers for 29 items. To, and, like, they're all just going to get drained out. So that's what I'm going to do. But before I can start that, I need to uh, make... The spiral path, and I gotta think about what block I want to make the spiral path out of. Okay. So I'm thinking it might just be like... I could have it line up... I could have it them all, like, run up a line here. And, like, for this spot, it might be, like, halfway into the chunk here. Um... I could just have it run up and just kind of, like, flow up. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to think about what block. I guess I could have it. I, I could have it match the layers. But the thing is, the layers are going to be changing. I could have it be a different type of blue block. Like, it looks like there's some kind of redstone sensitive glass block. Okay, I don't know what that's about. Okay, um. There's a nice blue block. That would be good. I mean, I guess I could just use, like,. I mean, I could use a dark blue. I, don't, I haven't really used any dark blue. Like, I could use... Ooh, yeah, maybe, like, the dark blue alabaster. That might be good. Uh... Yeah, where's the dark blue alabaster? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, the blue... Yeah, that looks like a good color. I can just use that for the lines. Okay, how much room's in here? Okay, a lot of room. Okay, I'm just gonna shove this all away so that way I can make the path. I'm gonna need a lot of alabaster. Okay. So I should have a fair amount of blue dye. I have an okay amount. She also made some concrete earlier. Uh, I probably want a little bit more. Like I can grind up those more of these corn flowers, but I'm I'm just like I can get a lot out of the corn flowers. I'm just gonna craft. I'm just gonna turn lapis into it with the vanilla recipe just to <laughs> save on time. Okay, yeah, I was freezing there. Cause I don't even know a good way to make cat to make corn flour without like going through like a bunch of um. Like, literally going through a bunch of, um, 
iterations through a mana pool, which would probably just get annoying. <laughs> okay, so I need... That are lap... Okay, so I... Sorry, I need Alabaster. Okay. So, for that, it's the... You have to craft the white one. And I'm out of sandstone, yeah. God, this thing needs a lot of sandstone. Thankfully, I got tons of sand, so it's just kind of like... Whatever. Okay, recipe. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to want... I think four stacks will be good for now, just for getting the uh, system all tested. So now let's make the blue alabaster. Oh, blue al oh, the alabaster has, like, the staircases and stuff. Ooh, I can make a good trimming with that. What the... Make... Oh, no, I don't want to use up my light blue. I want to use this. There we go. Yeah, it's like a nice, it's not as deep as the uh, concrete, but it's still, it's like a, like, I got more warm colored blues here. This is probably for the best. Okay. So I think I can... Okay, so I need this thing to turn. Okay, so for that, I need it to go like, I need it to be flat all along this corner. So I think... I think minecarts can fit under a one block gap. Yeah, so that should be fine. So for right now, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to shave out all the blocks that are below it. So now, i got to figure out where exactly... I want to figure out where where this minecart's going to land. So I'm going to want... Figure out where, where do I want the hoppers to start? I feel like I want them to start... Like, probably a couple of blocks down, just to be safe. And then I'm just going to have a line along here. And I'm just going to see where exactly the uh, minecart lands. Okay. Whoopsie daisy. Uh, I need my doodad here. Okay. Let's pick that up. So now let's just run a test. Let's run a full test here. We're going to have it run in. We're going to have it shoot out, and then we're going to see what happens when it rolls up. So we want to see exactly where it lands. So we're, so we're testing two things at once here. We're testing if this works, and we're testing um, where this minecart's going to land. So it might be a little different when it has stuff in it, but it probably won't be a big deal. I'll, just have, I'll probably have a little extra clearance just to be safe. Okay, so it's making its way up. Yeah, two, it's like every, every other is like just barely enough to move up a minecart. Sometimes you have to do like every other. Okay, so let's see. Minecart like this does not even make it. Okay. That is good to know. So it was like a couple blocks short. So I guess if, I just wanted to like barely even come in. I just, it's like that and it'll probably... Yeah, because I want it to have at least a little bit of that static to it. Oh, let me just... I can't put this thing down while I'm flying, which is weird. Okay. It's going to have a little less power, but it, hopefully it'll be able to fly its way on over. Okay. So the entire system should have reset itself, so this should just be straightforward here. Okay. Iron cart rolls in. We would sit here to fill up about two stacks worth of stuff. And then it's going to roll on off. Very slowly. Resetting the whole machine. And then this is going to come up here. And it's going to land... Right there. Okay. So that means... Uh, okay, so it's like halfway. Okay, so I probably just want a ramp here. Like that. Okay, so it's... Basically, it's going to end up running along here, but I don't want... I don't want the uh, carts to merge. I want the carts to be able to merge on all sides here. 
<sighs> okay. No, oh, I'm just thinking for a moment. Actually, you know, hold on, I gotta go to the bathroom. Okay, I'm, I'm back. Whew. So, yeah, okay. So I just want this entire path to just be made out of hoppers. So probably, that, that block probably is not going to stay. It's just going to be, um... Oh no, the block's going to stay, The I guess, no, the rail's not going to stay, though. Um, well, actually, maybe I should just keep it... I might as well just keep it around, just... But for this one, I'm just going to have it, like... That. And that means I need to lease those two blocks. I guess it looks better with that thing there. I don't really need this. Okay. So everything starting here will just be hoppers. Let's remove the line here. Okay. So, well, the other option is, is that I have these things all... There we go. So I have them all group up. It's like I have them... They all funnel in, but then they all go down a central path where they all run along hoppers. That's the other option. That'll help me save on uh, the amount of hoppers I need for this. So I'm probably going to need a lot to be able to handle two stacks worth of something. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm going to start with a stack. And um, probably soon that'll... You know, I'll probably start with a second. I'll see how much that does. It's... Probably not going to get me a stack's worth of material, but we'll see. Okay, so I'm going to need a stack of hoppers. Okay. And I could have all these hoppers. It's like, wait a minute. Uh, no. I was about to say, like, couldn't, what if I had a factory hopper with, like, a wide area, but I don't think that, um, I don't think that applies to, um, getting stuff out of the, uh, Hopper. <laughs> Sorry, out of the, um, minecarts. Okay. So, I really doubt a stack's enough, but we're gonna see how well it works. Okay. So, let's see. So, that's where the minecart lands. Kind of wish I could have it, like, fly in a little bit more, but... It's kind of like a lot of the hopper is not really being used. Uh... Eh, I'll change it around if I want it to look a little cooler. Okay. So let's see. So I'm going to want the path to start. Okay, hold on. Hold on, let me, I might, maybe I just have the hoppers on the outside here. I just have them, like, come out of a hole on one side, and then they, like, come, funnel through the hoppers. Yeah, and I guess I like the line of hoppers, and then when they're done with the hoppers, they run back down. Or, do you have rats on you? No. Okay, well, I don't want you around. Okay. Ugh. Things... I just don't want to deal with them. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. So, yeah, I'm thinking... We probably just have... Yeah, you know, we have them all meet in here, and then we'll just have them all meet on a path. Going out. So, obviously, the hopper part's more... This is all just an aesthetic thing. Like, just having them all fall into the hopper is an aesthetic thing. Yeah. Like, I could probably have them spiral. I could have them, like, all fall down into, like, a, the same track or something. And then just have them, like, spiral down the inside of the base or something. I guess that would be... That would be pretty cool, I guess. Mm. Yeah, and they could have like. Yeah, how am I gonna connect all these hoppers? I'm just realizing that. Like, I'm gonna have to have like. I'm gonna need one central hopper at the bottom that's like feeding everything into the network. And if there's enough stuff flowing through the system, is it gonna be able to keep up? We're well, just gonna need to have like cables underneath all the hoppers. Well, we'll have to, we'll have to cross that bridge when we uh, reach it. Okay, so for right now, sorry, for right now I just want this hopper going down. And I want this 
I want the next hopper to go forward. So let me get all the forward hoppers down. That's how much I think of that uh, timer that I have set up. Default. The Two stacks should be plenty. If it, this thing can soak up two stacks, it should be plenty. Okay. So now I need is... I gotta make this thing run at the slowest speed I can. So I'm gonna want it to... I want to see if I can just get away with only the minimum, I mean the minimum amount of power rails here. Like, I'm probably going to want to figure out when it just starts slowing down after it get Because, obviously, once it goes down this ramp, it's going to pick up some speed here. So it's probably not going to pick up a whole lot of items along this, correct? But, you know. It's better than nothing. Okay. And then, I, I find out that distance, and then I'll just... Make it uh, longer, accordingly. Okay. Oh, let me just get on the ground for this, because I'm not sure if it's going to hopper out that or not. Okay. Let me just pull up the rest of my rails. I still have 47 extra hoppers. Wow. Okay. So I just need a little more than three stacks worth. Okay. So I'll probably just have, like, an importer right here to import everything into the system. Because that's the end of the line here. Okay. I'm expecting it to maybe make it like a good way around with the bend. I probably only need like, like two, like probably three power rails, probably. Or if it can make it around one wall, just put a power rail on each end like that. Ugh, and, if I, and every rail I'm gonna have to break, so it's gonna have to slowly make its way around. I'm hoping I don't produce too much with the ten farms over over uh, clogging the system. Could happen, could not happen. Who knows? There's a lot of hoppers that need to be filled up. It's just mostly the speed. Mm. Okay. And there we go. Okay, so that's the entire line before power rails. Okay. So, before I go say anything down the hopper, we're just gonna... We're gonna have this thing run the full track. Okay. Just so that way all the speeds are exact. Yeah. There we go. Up and it goes. Gets launched off. Okay. It's so going at that exact speed. I'm pretty certain the hill. Like, this hill right here would probably, um, equalize the power, and I probably don't have to start from the very beginning here. Okay. There we go. We drop down. Lands on the... Uh, lands on it. Okay. So it's able to make it across that easily. So let's see. How long can this thing run? I'm waiting until it gets, like, really slow. Okay, so it might only need one power rail... Like, yeah, I probably should put a power rail there. Well, actually, the, sl the slower it moves, the better. Because that's some more items it can get in. Oh, but I don't want them bunching up. Yeah, because I, I... Well, actually... Yeah, I don't want them bunching. Okay, so I probably want it... Maybe, like... Yeah, I probably just want it there, and I'll see how many items I get. Okay, so this is gonna... Yeah, okay, so I have to, I have to worry about that. So wait, I just let the items get on the line while I set this thing up. Okay. So, does that disable this hopper? No, it does not. Okay, that's all I really need to worry about. So now I just gotta wait for the hoppers to very slowly um, transport the ends down here to the end. Picked up some rails. Oh, I think I know how that happened. It, when it falls down... Oh. Okay, um... Yeah, okay, thank goodness I saw that. So what I probably... I think the easiest solution here is probably just to turn it into a block. Because obviously I don't need this last one here. The other solution is just to have the hopper point another way. Like, I could just have the hopper... Point at the wall. Like that, and then there. Because what was happening is when it falls down, it got one item in before it fell all the way down. Okay. 
So now it's time for the actual test here. We're going to put the timer to the time I want to have it at. 1150. We're going to load this thing up with two stacks of material. Okay. So if this test works, then we will... Then all that's left now is having the minecarts roll back in. I guess I can just have them... So they're going to be right there. Ideally, I'd want them to roll back in here. Yeah, and I guess it's not a big deal because these things are already... Yeah, I can just have it roll back in. Yeah, the thing is, like, I don't want anything to, like, hit each other. I want to reduce the chance of things hitting each other. Well, it'll just be, a, a, like, a luck thing. They don't hit each other. Okay. That'll be what happens last. So let's just have this thing run. It goes in. It's loading up with alabaster. Shoot. Oh, it does more than two stacks. Okay, I gotta... Oh. Okay, so it's not much more than two stacks. It's probably like two and a half? Okay, I'll put in like two and a half stacks of alabaster next time. Okay, so we know this, we know this part works. Because that's two stacks right there. So I'm not gonna have it run again. Okay, where did I put the rest of the alabaster? Did it fall down here? Okay, it fell down here. Okay, so I need a little bit more than that. And I'm low on it. Okay, well, let me just... I'm just gonna run home back and just make a handful more of this. I'll just use the light blue, why not? Okay, that should be enough. Okay. So it's gonna be a little heavier than I expected, which is a problem. But it's not, it, hopefully it won't be anything horrible. Ooh, almost forgot to put the chest back on it. Okay. Stinking phantoms, they just keep up the... I, I, I guess I gotta sleep in the bed again. You guys wanna fight? Here, while these things clean out, I'm just gonna kill these things off. They're just, they're just gonna get annoying. The last thing I need them to do is mess up my minecart. Okay. So we gotta wait for this thing to hit two stacks. A little over two stacks. Okay, so it's two stacks and 16. It can handle. Okay. I think it's really... That thing is... It's slugging along. I mean... It does have... More weight on it. And, su and substantial amount. Okay. So it looks like, wow, you can get 16 blocks make it lands that much shorter. But still enough for this thing to roll down. Okay. So if this thing falls down and it has nothing in it, then we know this test is a work. Works. Yeah, it's already halfway done. It's about halfway done with the course, too. So it, it, should, it should fit. Sorry, it was more than halfway done already, yeah. Okay. And when this thing falls... Yeah, nothing was in the hopper, but yeah, it shouldn't fill up with anything else. Okay, it's empty. So there we go. There's all the spare. We did it. Okay. So the only thing le else that to add is um. Literally just a. Okay, so it falls down here. Oh, I want some bricks. Do I have the bricks on on me? Yeah, I do. Okay. It's literally just have it... Okay, so if it's landing there... That means then I want a rail... Right... Here... Just to... I'll just keep it a power rail. I think it lands... Yeah, it should land on the exact block. And then... I guess it could have... it just be a redstone torch above it? Yeah, that, that, yeah that's fine. Oh wait, that's gonna fix it when I put the rail down. Oh, figures. We're gonna keep forgetting about that. Okay. And then redstone torch. Oh my goodness, are they getting in? Oh! You punk! You stinking punk! You think you're gonna run away? Yeah, we're right. Okay. So let's see. We just want it to feed in to here, so that's just 
a simple matter of um we're probably getting it to go up okay so we're probably just have it boost get a boost right here just so that way it has a boost like anything else that was coming down there and here we go some railing okay and that should make sure it lands and it rolls the way I want it to roll okay so that is the entire setup now all I got to do is hook up more else I could test is seeing how it could handle on multiple carts I feel like I said I was gonna test multiple carts but it's just if they stay spaced out, there is no way along this entire line that they'll cause issues. It's literally if they are clumped up, there's a chance that two are gonna fall into this. And I don't know, two might two might just it might push one out and just have it roll out. Two might just cause a backup and they just have like one sitting there or sitting up there and cause an issue. I don't know. But yeah, so this thing works. It it completely works. And yeah, it can it can hand, this system is completely capable of handling should be completely capable of handling multiple minecarts. Again, assuming they don't clump up. So yeah. And that thing's dead. So yeah, in between streams I'm gonna make a new om um, disk drive. Oh crap, I meant to set up the farm. Okay, well, the farm, I think I did that on camera. So, yeah. It's just going to be another one of those farms like I did for the superfood. That's all it is. Because that, that takes up exactly a chunk's area. That, that, that's all I'm doing. And, yeah, it's just going to flow in items into the hopper. It's just going to be a simple, like, item duct coming. Like, just going up and over the rail like that. that that's all it is, and that's just going to be the regular farm. And yeah, it can just in yeah, it all it'll do is it'll run around. I'll probably have a um a, a cable running from here all the way down. Probably bump out from I'm probably gonna want it to bump out from the side here. You know, I don't really need the last hopper. The last hopper is completely optional. I can just replace it with like a, a cyan alabaster block, like and then have that be a rail. That, that's going to do... It's literally going to be the same thing. And that way... This hopper is the last hopper. And they can have the cable run underneath. It'll be neat and compact. And then it'll all run into the system. So, yeah. So we got we got, we got got the challenging part done. This is all set up. And it's going to be really cool when I can get multiple minecarts running on it. So, uh, thank you all for watching uh, the game. <laughs>